think it's clear um, we're cat people. This is my morning ritual, just giving some attention to all the cats. And if I don't give it to them, they'll give it to me. So um, morning ritual. <laughs> This looks a bit weird and it's I could do this without using the switch but Nintendo makes this fun and um, I can use the exercise just a little bit. So yeah, um, Jump Rope Challenge on the Switch. It's a free little game from Nintendo. It's silly, it's strange, it's weird, it's it's Nintendo. And um, I could do that whole jumping stuff on my own without a Switch, without using a 300 euro costing console. But it just makes it more fun seeing that little bunny jump up and down uh, as I jump. And it it's, I could use the exercise as I said. Uh, but speaking about Switch, we have our first game uh, passed through the whole Nintendo system. Meganoid is coming to Switch. <laughs> All right, so um, the problem being the one working at home and using that home as his office means I also have to clean it every now and then. So especially with five cats, the vacuum cleaner does a lot of work around here. Uh, part of glorious indie life, I guess. All right, so uh, Meganoid passed uh, Nintendo's lot check, which means, in case you don't know, lot check is pretty much Nintendo takes the game and runs it on hardware and tests it on uh, all the variations that the player could play it in. Um, it's for them, the most important thing is the hardware has to look good and uh, function well and the player should be comfortable playing it in any way they want. So they're not really testing the game for bugs, although if they run into a bug, they'll most likely tell you. So when we submit the game to Nintendo, uh, the timer starts and it can take up to a month for Nintendo to just test it, play it and all those things. and give us feedback and um, mention any problems. There weren't game bugs, but there were two issues and both issues required us to resubmit and that pretty much resets the timer of the complete lot check. At least I think it does because uh, it took much longer than we wanted it. So we had two things. Uh, the first thing that went wrong were as uh, the safe game has to be a link to the player's profile. We didn't do that correctly because, well, it's the first time we're releasing on Switch, so give us a break. We fixed it. It was a very easy fix. I think it was just one or two days of work uh, to figure it out and fix it and resubmit a new version. And like I said, the timer restarted again, so it took another one or two weeks to wait for Nintendo to come back to us. The second issue was with uh, Joy-Cons. 
you can pretty much uh, detach these things and then also play with just one of these. That's not how we set up the game to be played. So for us, this was just not something we tested or even wanted to happen, but they tested it and um, it works. It plays like this, except that all the button information, press A to jump or press this to open inventory, it doesn't really work if you um, rotate your Joy-Con or if you use the other one. So it was a little bit back and forth on how to fix it. Uh, we finally decided to just disable this type of play. Uh, Friedel had to figure out how to do that, but he figured it out. We fixed it, we submitted it, and um, now the game passed lot check a few weeks later than we hoped, but still um, it passed, so that's good. And also these little problems we had with this will be fixed in Space Grunts on the first go. So hopefully Space Grunts will pass lot check in just those two or three weeks. We'll see. All right, so for me, that pretty much meant that yesterday I spent most of the day, and literally it was most of the day, setting up the store page for Meganoid on Nintendo Switch. Um, anybody, any developer, any, any marketing person, whoever uh, set up a store page on any system, you'll know by now that you'll never have the right image sizes. So um, the first thing you should do is make sure you have a huge high resolution marketing banner in uh, different layers that you can cut copy paste and move around so that you can create these assets fairly quickly yeah it still took me a lot of time not just the assets but also figuring out uh, the price points the dates the release dates there are i think i had to enter three different dates of when the game is being submitted when the port the page should go live when the price goes live and it was a lot of figuring out, a lot of work, and compared to many of the other game store sites, um, itch.io is probably the easiest. Uh, the App Store, the new update is pretty good. Uh, Google Play, by the back end is, um, it has a lot of stuff going on, but a lot of good stuff as well. And Steam is, it's getting there as well, but it still requires a, sh a lot of banners and capsule images, which is the worst because I rarely see those images back on the Steam page anywhere, but you have to submit them. As far as store pages goes, um, Nintendo has a somewhat dated store page that could use a little love and tender care, but it works and I think I figured it all out. In a couple of days we should hear back from Nintendo if it's all okay. And then we can start pushing Space Grunts and Heroes of Loot 2, which is also in development right now. And we're working on Gunslugs to see if the older games I have, which run at lower frame rates, if they still feel good on the Switch. I think it might actually work because I've seen a couple of Game Maker games and they also run on 30 frames per second. So I don't think it's going to be a big problem, but we'll have to figure it out. And if Gunslugs works, we should be able to bring a bunch of other games to it. Stardash, Heroes of Loot 1. Um, <laughs> A couple of other games so i'm very excited about all those things one other thing i couldn't talk about this happened a couple of weeks up to a few months ago um i mentioned here and there that i've been porting my android games to other android platforms i just couldn't show you and talk about it or anything i can now just check this this kickstarter right here um the iArcade it's an android device it's it's not a tablet in in some cardboard box this is like a cool gadget it has its own hardware, uh, stereo speakers and everything, controllers, and it has all my games running on it. I got contacted by these guys a couple of months ago uh, about some of my games, and then we just decided to get all my games up there. All right, so I have talked about getting my Android games on uh, devices outside Google Play. I've talked about it here and there, but usually very vaguely and very quickly because often I can't talk about the device or the hardware or whatever it is. In this case, I can actually show you what it is. It's going to be uh, pretty cool and I hope to eventually have one in my studio. We'll see if we can make that one happen. Um, I also had my games on tablets that were designed and only available in airplanes at the back of a seat, I guess. I, I've never seen these things in action. There were also my games on uh, tablets or devices designed for restaurants. A couple of hundred restaurants had it all over the world somewhere. I, I'm not even sure. I rarely see these things in action. I just know that they run my games and I get paid at some point. And uh, in this case, I kind of hope I'll be able to see it myself because I really want something like this in my studio. So I'm very happy and very pleased they managed to get their kickstart way over their goal. So um, it's gonna happen. 
All right, and that's it for this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit different than normal, a little bit more vlogging style. Um, been inspired by a couple of YouTubers and I just like to create these type of videos every now and then. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, all that stuff you should do on YouTube channels. And I'll see you next week with some more residual devlogs. Good old fashioned devlogs. But this was fun to do as well, don't you think? I think it was, this was fun. Um, see you next week, bye. Thank you.